Hi everybody, it's me, Jenny. Um, sorry for the funky um, angle. <laughs> but I am, as it says, I'm coming on as a request to put the dolls together. Um, the dolls that I love so much to make and they drive me insane and they are time consuming and but the outcome is just so precious. So um, a couple people have asked honestly um, if I could show on video how I put them together. Now the three that I'm going to show you I do not have dies for. These have been I have been so blessed to have these gifted to me by the beautiful Wendy in my group um, Wendy Stein and what she did I'm going to show you real quick um, what she did is she sent me three bags like this and I believe in each bag there are ten of each die um, so again I don't have the die but I do have ten of each dolls if that makes any sense so um, these are definitely dies that I need to get and I want to get especially the first one I'm going to show you because I just fell so in love with her so I did a few of them last night and I saved a few obviously to do on camera um, but I just want to show you real quick how they came out so this is one now like I said she picked all of these outfits out that are absolutely adorable I love them the hair everything um, so I just put them together and, and I'm going to show you how but just for those of you that do this, whether you have the die or you've been gifted the parts to the die, um, the best way to do it is to try and find a picture of the actual doll or girl or whoever. I love her, isn't she so cute? And just so you can see, what I did was I gave her a little piece on her headband and then I gave her earrings. They're just, and what they are, they're actually nail art. Um, if you could see these tiny, tiny little sequins, or not sequins, but um, flat back bling. <laughs> so I just went with the colors and gave her earrings. So I thought that came out really super cute. And I did that on all of them so far. <clears throat> and I'll sh again show you when I'm doing that, I will show you how I pick it and all of that. But I think what's the most important to know is that when you get something like this like you know you don't have a doll to go buy or a girl I'll call her instead of a doll and you have no idea what you're doing find a picture online and then what I did is I took every bowl except for these bags obviously because I put them back in but like when I was doing her because these are all the dolls right here so there's uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so exactly ten like she said so what I did was I put all of the hair together in one pile, all the dresses in one, all of the faces in another, the the body parts in another, the, the aprons in another, the shoes in another. So what I did was I went through every single thing in the bag and I made piles of every single thing. Now this just helped me. This could be totally different for you guys, but again, I can only show what I do and what helps it to make it easier for me. So it's kind of like... I put them all together and I make an assembly line <laughs> and then I just go to work and that's basically what I've done with all three of them so as you can see I have this one which is her this one what I did was I did the same thing I put the hairs together but I'm only doing two of each so that because otherwise this this film would be so long and oh my god you would get so bored so that's what I did so I have all of their pieces together so before you even start find the picture then put every single piece of whatever in piles all the hair all the face all the bodies all of that the shoes then you can start to begin to put your girls together so let's just jump right into it we're gonna make her first so I have them lined up here and let's move this to the side here so we do not get confused and we will start with this one so now here are all the pieces plus the shoes Oh, and all of you that wondered um, how I do this with my long nails and all that stuff, you're going to get to see. <laughs> okay, so um, so here are all the pieces, okay? So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put her together, like her body. I keep wanting to pulling it up to my chest, and of course you're not going to be able to see it there. So this is the body, okay? And then this is the glue that I use. It's, um, oh God, I don't have the name of it, but it's just the, any wet glue would work. You could use Mod Podge, you can use um, Glossy Accent, any kind of glue that you have. I like to use the wet glue because it's a little bit more um, like forgiving and you can move it around a little bit. It doesn't stick right away. So I just put a, oh, sorry. 
I put a little on that and I take the body and I just glue it together. And you don't, with this doll, you don't want to go down too far because then her, her legs won't show. And I'll show you what I mean in one of them because I made a huge mistake. So I just take my, my uh, tweezer, I squeeze her together. <laughs> I squeeze her rib cage. Okay, and then just wipe away any of the glue that came out. And now I'm going to take her head and then the same thing. I'm just going to take the glue and where the neck is, just put a little bit on the edge. I'm really not a good teacher. <laughs> really, really not. But anyway, then you put the head on and make sure that it's, you know, somewhat even. You don't want her lopsided. So let's check her out. She seems good, but there's that wiggle room I was talking about. So now we're going to kind of push her together. Make sure she's going to stay and not come off. So that's her head. So now you have her, her body, right? So she's all put together. Now we're going to turn her around and we're going to glue her. And we're just going to put some glue there, a little here, and a little across the shoulders because that's about as far down as she'll go on the hair. Then you take the hair, okay, and you try to get it as even as you can. Uh, it's not quite even, so let's move her over a little. And then there we go. Press her down. And so now she's glued to her hair. And you're probably thinking, oh my God, this looks ridiculous. <laughs> because I have to tell you, when I first put her together, I was like, oh my God, what am I doing? I have screwed this up oily. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to get this wrong. But believe me, it all comes together. And in the end, she looks as adorable like I've showed you. So now this is her hair, like her, her front piece of her hair. So... Now this is where you need to look and see how far down you want it. Do you want it right above her eyes? Do you want it over her eyes a little bit? You have a little free um, play here because you have the headband that's going to cover the white part of her head. So you just place this on and then where I, what I do, I go right to the headband. So like I said, I have her outfit picked out. Everything's all together. So the assembly is very, very easy for me. So I just take it, I glue obviously the headband part on the back. I hope to God I'm in frame because if I have to do this over again, I may cry. <laughs> All right, so then you take the headband and you just kind of place it so that it's even, eh, somewhat even on the sides. All right, I want to go up a little further there. So we're going to do this. There we go. So now you've covered up. Now I have to be honest and tell you, this will drive me nuts. I've done that a couple times on the other ones, but at this point to rip it up and try to do it again would be stupid because I've already pressed it down. So we're just going to have to live with it. Um, and if I didn't point it out, you probably wouldn't even notice it, but I pointed it out because I hate mistakes <laughs> when I do that anyway. So now what, what I've done with the other ones, I went right to decorating. So I pulled out these like I showed you and then I have these and I know a lot of people have these these are the sticky ones so she's got pink green like a light pink a dark pink so let's see what kind of something we want on her hair now these are just like the regular um, blings but then I have I had oh here we go now I don't have the color I want see how it's like a little flower here I do have the plain color, like the like the silver kind of color, I guess you could say. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to stick it right here. And because it has an adhesive on the back, I don't really have to worry about the glue. Now, if you're going to give these away and mail them to somebody, then I would definitely suggest you put glue on the um, back of it so that it doesn't come off in the mail or whatever. So now I want to find the earrings. So I'm going to go with the darker pink which is this color in here. I don't even know if you can see that. Oh, anyway, so yeah. So now what I'm gonna do is on her ears, I'm gonna do two dabs of glue. So one here and one here. And then we're going to try to pick up the earrings. Ah, I just got glue everywhere. But thank God it dries clear, so. You really won't see that glue once it's dry. And then you do the other one on this side. And again, it's also helpful to pick out the clothes, obviously, while you're doing this so that you know what color. So there we go. Now I've just decorated her, her face part. Um, and now we're going to do this. So now what I've done 
I will say these came with it. I have no absolutely earthly idea what these pieces are for. I didn't see them in any of the dolls that or the, the girls that I saw. I only saw the pieces that I'm using. So if you have this die and you know what these are for, please let me know. I would appreciate it. Um, and if not, then, you know, it's okay. I'm not using them. It's driving me a little crazy because I would love to know where they go. But I did see, you know, the dresses had a pocket. So I put a pocket on this one. So now what we're going to do is ah, we're going to take the dress. Um, no, I'm sorry. We're going to take this one and we're going to glue it on the back. Not a lot. You don't need a whole lot of glue for this stuff. Um, and you don't want it to kind of run out on the edges either. So, you know, be careful with that. We're going to take this and we're going to glue it to this dress. And I hope you can see. So we're going to put it right about here and we're just going to push it down. And then there you go, that makes the dress, okay? And now we're gonna put the other part on and that's just a collar for like the top part of the dress which I think is so super cute. So we're gonna glue that, just little dabs of glue and we're gonna put that on the collar part, obviously. So we're gonna put that right about here and glue it down. Now the mistake I made <laughs> a couple times doing this is I turned the dress over and glued the entire background and when I put it on I was like oh wait that doesn't need all that kind of glue so let's finish putting the dress together we need the belt so let's do the belt part and again you just turn it over put a little bit of glue you don't need a lot and if you're using um, art glitter glue which is usually ah, usually what I do use but I don't know what the heck I did with it I know it's around here somewhere so just for the sake of time I just grabbed that one and this one works just as well. I would, it's, it's a Scott something, I just don't know what. So now before I put the dress on, I got smart and what I'm gonna do is just glue her body. So you don't want her neck because her neck is gonna show. So you wanna ah, glue on the parts that are not gonna show. So I go just a little bit down the leg and on the torso. Then I take her dress and I try to center it as much as I can so both arms have equal showing if you know what I'm trying to say so we'll say there and then I just push down and look a little girl is born how adorable right so now she needs one more thing and that's her shoes so let's glue on her shoes and again you know guys if you don't want to use certain parts you don't have to they, nothing says that it has to be this way it's just that's I went by what most of the pictures are um, just to make it a little easier for myself because again I don't have these dies so I'm not familiar with them so it's like a puzzle kinda you know like you're not quite sure but I would love to know what all the pieces are for to be honest I mean that would be helpful so if I wanted to do it another way I could you know what I mean so we're gonna take this shoe glue that on and see what I mean about the the distance which for her leg now I will show you one I did. She has no leg at all. <laughs> it's just skirt and shoe. What did I do with that one? Um, where is it? I know I have it. Is that it? Where did I put it? Uh oh. Did I lose it? Oh, here it is. I was gonna say. <laughs> See how she has no leg because I t I went to like I, I glued okay here see I glued the the body part too close or the leg part too close to the body part so that's why I was saying when you do it make sure you need, leave enough room so that if you like that the way it looks with her having a little bit of leg then you know that's fine if not then you can do it this way where she has no leg and it's just shoe so however you want to do it so that's how you do this doll or girl I will do her one more time um, just to give you another look at it and remember you can always stop and rewind the video but let's just go through it one more time we'll try to do it quick well as quick as I I can work which is not always that quick but um, okay so here here's the body and you're just gonna do a little thin line on the top again you don't need much glue you're going to take it to the torso part and again you're not gonna go far down you're just gonna kinda put it right on there and then I just take my tweezer well, here, first you want to get it straight. That would be helpful. And then I just 
squeeze them together. Yay! So now that's glued. Okay, and then I take the neck here. Again, do a thinner line or a thin line because you want to leave some neck to show because, you know, she'll have a pretty neckline. And then she doesn't look like, you know, this big head on this tiny little thing. And then again, too, with this, you want to uh, be a little careful because you want her face to be as straight as you can get it. So now she's all glued together. Okay. Oh, Jesus. So she's all glued together. Now we're going to, oh, we're going to take the back of her head and her shoulders. So we're going to put some glue all over. And once you get the hang of this, guys, it, it's somewhat easier. I mean, again, it is time consuming. I'm not going to lie. It does take a little while, especially when you're doing quite a bit of them in one shot. So you're going to take it and you're going to push them together, glue it on. Woo! Okay, now you're going to take the rest of her hair, which is this piece, and the same thing, you're going to glue it, okay, and figure out where you want it. If you want it up higher, you can have it up here if you want, or you can have it down here. I kind of like it in the middle, so it leaves just, it's like right above the eyes, but it also gives you some part of the forehead, um, you know, so it's not just eyes and hair, it's... I don't know, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say, but if you can see, these little lines are her eyes, nose, and mouth. Oh, let me see if I can get that again. Her, no, okay, well, well you know what I mean. <laughs> so now here are the parts to the dress. So here is her little headband that we are going to glue. And I don't know why I like to do this first, but I figure I guess I'm at that part of the body that it just makes sense to just get it done. I don't know, but you know, it doesn't matter how you do it, just as long as you know how to do it and you know, whatever works best for you. So we're gonna start down here. And again, this is so tricky for me and I don't know why, but it drives me nuts. But the whole point is you wanna try and cover, there we go, the white part. And then, and it's a little frayed, like all those little pieces that you're seeing are from the die cut. I don't know why it does it with mostly all of them. Um, and I should have probably just cleaned it before I tried to stick it on, but I didn't realize that it was going to be that much. <laughs> but okay, so there we go. There's the head part. Now let's try the decoration again. So we're going to bring out, you know, your bling and all your stuff. Now I don't have, actually, wait, do I, I think I have a white one. And I, oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Let me bring out more. <laughs> I do. Okay, so see these white ones? Because her dress, I don't know if that's going to be too big. Eh, that might be too small. Um, you know what? I'm just going to go for it and use the bigger one. So here, let me do this. I'm going to take the white one. And you know what? I'm going to put it on this side. Ah! And I'm going to put it right there. Okay. Now I don't have white, um, bling, but I have silver and silver is just as good as white in my opinion. So we're just going to do a little dab, a little dab, pick up a blue. Oh, that's two blings. No. All right. They're not, that's not going to work. <laughs> okay. Let's just try this again. What is going on? Oh, here we go. Okay, so we're going to put a bling here. And then we are going. Ah! Hold on. Oh, let's try it this way. And we're going to do a little bling there and remove that glue. So there you go. That's how I decorated her. Now that I'm looking at this big white circle on her, I'm not sure if I like it, but we're going to leave it <laughs> because, because we're going to leave it. Why not? Right? So let's glue the dress again. Not again, but you know what I mean? So we're going to take this and 
we are going to try to evenly place and again that's one of the reasons why I love the wet glue because you can kind of just play with it you have that few seconds um, you know before you stick it down and and it gets to the point where you can't move it again so now we're gonna do the collar Oh, that's upside down. Ah! Wait a minute. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so this is real life, and this is what happens to me all the time. But it's okay. It's doable. It'll work. All right, so we're going to put the collar on the dress here, like so. And we're going to place it down. And then we're going to do the belt. And we're gonna glue it. I am so sorry if I am out of frame anywhere in this video. I apologize if there's something that you missed. Let me know. I will try to go back over it and show you guys. So here is the belt. And now again, we're gonna glue the body part, not the dress because you're gonna glue it right onto your mat or whatever you're working on. So again, stay below. Sorry, I have to unclog my glue here. Um, stay below the, the neck because you don't want it on the neck. And, ah, what is going Here we go. No, she's still clogged, but that's okay. All right, so <clears throat> there we go. And now, again, you want to make sure that you have equal arm space so that they're both showing and they're both sticking out. So actually, oh, sorry. So that one actually worked out pretty well. I actually kind of like the big circle on the top of her head. <laughs> it's different, right? So there you go. Now we put the shoes on. And she is all done. Lucy Lou is what I'm going to call her. I have no idea why. She just reminds me of a Lucy Lou. So hello, Lucy Lou. And I think I made her legs too short. And I probably did. And when that happens, just move the shoe down a little further. <laughs> <laughs> you can always cover up a mistake. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, we're just going to... I don't know how I did that. I thought I did it pretty low, too, but I guess not. Oh, well. So, again, just make the shoe a little bit lower so you see some kind of leg. Um, and then there you go. Here's your little girl all done. So I hope that is helpful. Um, now we're going to do another a different girl. And this is a gorgeous girl. Um, I don't know what the name of that girl is. I have no idea. And I know that this tape is getting very long. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stop this here. That'll be, And I'll do three parts. So I'll do this girl because we're already at like 20-something minutes. And then I'll do the other girl and then the next girl. So just bear with me, guys. I hope you like it. I hope you learned something. And I will be right back to show you how to make her. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Remember, if you like the video, thumbs it up and leave a comment. Bye, guys.